good morning students today we will discuss the remaining stanzas of the poem the charge of the light brigade written by famous english poet alfred lord tennyson in our previous lecture we discussed first two stanzas of the same poem and today we will discuss next two stanzas of the same poem the charge of the light brigade this is the image of the battlefield this is image of the poet alfred lord tennyson as in our previous lecture we discussed that uh, the poem celebrates an act of bravery and sacrifice a suicidal cavalry charge during the crimean war this poem was written just 6 weeks later tennyson's poem argues that the willingness of the cavalry to sacrifice themselves without calling their orders into question makes them heroes so as we have already discussed in our previous lecture this poem the charge of the light brigade is a tribute to the courage and bravery and sacrifice of 600 soldiers of light brigade they were ordered by their officers to attack the enemy who were great or who were larger in number and power because they were having guns with them but the light brigade they sacrificed the soldiers of light brigade sacrificed their lives without any questioning to the order of attack on the enemy so let's now discuss next two stanzas third stanza is cannon to right of them cannon to left of them cannon in front of them volleyed and thundered stormed at with shot and shell boldly they rode and well into the jaws of death into the mouth of hell rode the 600 in these lines the poet describes the charge of the light brigade charge means attack which was made by light the soldiers of light brigade upon their common enemy that was russia so in these lines the poet describes the charge the scene of the charge of light brigade the 600 soldiers of light brigade they got orders to make attack on the enemy who have guns with them uh, they made a sudden and uh, uh, sudden attack at lightning speed and when they made the attack on the enemy there were cannons to right of them cannon means in punjabi cannon means top which is used in the battlefield cannon to right of them cannon to left of them all the 600 soldiers of the light brigade they were surrounded by the guns and cannons of the enemy means there were cannons to right of them there were cannons to left of them cannon in front of them means they were surrounded by cannons all around them volleyed and thundered those cannons they roared and thundered very loudly volleyed and thundered means they ro volleyed means roared they roared and thundered very loudly stormed at with shot and shell 
boldly they rode and well into the jaws of death into the mouth of hell rode the 600 the poet says that boldly they rode and well that the 600 soldiers they courageously rode upon their horses into the jaws of death and they moved towards the jaws of death they were so brave so they didn't stop for breath they rode on their boldly they rode rode means on what they rode on their horses and they went into the jaws of death they went into the mouth of hell into the mouth of hell without any hesitation rode the 600 they did their duty which was assigned to them by their officers very well so those soldiers of flight brigade were very they were really very brave and courageous and daring let's now discuss the fourth stanza flashed all their sabers bare flashed as they turned in air sabring the gunners there charging an army while all the world wondered plunged in the battery smoke right through the line they broke cossack and russian reeled from the saber stroke shattered and sundered then they rode back but not not the 600 flashed all their sabers bear in these lines again the poet describes the cavalry charge of the light brigade the the 600 soldiers they got the orders of attack upon their enemy they at once rushed towards the enemy forces which were larger in number and power but the light brigade was not armed heavily means they were very lightly armed flashed all their sabers were saber means sword the 600 soldiers of light brigade they were having only the swords with them flashed as they turned in air sabring the gunners there charging an army while all the world wondered the poet says that the soldiers of the light brigade they took their sabers sabers means swords sword means in punjabi sword or saber means talwar so all the 600 soldiers of the light brigade they took their swords into their hands and those swords were flashed means those swords were shining in the air they attacked the large army of the enemy then they what did they do and when they were attacking the gunners with their sabers or swords all the world was looking or uh, watching towards them with surprise or wonder plunged in the battery smoke right through the line they broke cossack and russian reeled from the saber stroke shattered and sundered so they attacked the large army of the enemy they went on killing the gunners who were the gunners the enemies of russia the uh, soldiers who were having guns with them so the swords uh, the soldiers of the light brigade were killing the gunners with their swords 
plunged in the battery smoke right through the line they broke cossack and russian reeled from the saber stroke means they did not care for the shots and shells without caring for the bombs they plunged they jumped into the battery smoke into the smoke of uh, which was produced in the battlefield then they rode back but not not the 600 they did not care for the shots and shells of the enemy guns and cannons so the whole world was wondering at their bravery and their courage they went on uh, cutting line after line of the enemy soldiers the cossack and russian russian soldiers cossack and russian this is the name of uh, soldiers who were shattered and shaken by the hard blows of the of their swords shattered and sundered means the enemy soldiers were shattered and cut apart then they rode back the enemy soldiers they ran for their lives then suddenly the light brigade rode back means they rode on their horses back from the battlefield but not not the 600 but the soldiers now were not 600 in number because many of them had been killed by the enemy guns many of them had been killed by the guns of the enemies so only some of them returned alive because most of them were killed there in the battlefield by the gunners or the by the guns of the enemies but now they were not the 600 because they were killed by the enemies so only some of them returned alive from the battlefield so this is the explanation of the text third and fourth stanza of the poem the charge of the light brigade so today we have completed this explanation tomorrow we will continue with our next lecture and uh, explanation of uh, next remaining two stanzas of the same poem thank you thank you very much